Cabinet Minister Chris Farfoy says he said some dumb things but did not do the wrong thing in his dealings with Jason Kerrison over an immigration case. The lead singer of the band Op Shop approached the minister, who's a family friend, for help after his stepfather's partnership visa request was declined. The minister's office has published the full correspondence between the minister and the musician. It shows Mr Farfoy told Mr Kerrison he would help speed up the case but that he wasn't able to put anything in writing. Today he's apologised to the Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern for his handling of the incident and says he got a stern talking to but won't lose his job. In dealing with Jason I said things that were untidy and dumb and I take responsibility for those things. I said some dumb things but I did not do the wrong thing. The language was loose as I was communicating with an old friend. After Jason contacted me, I sought advice about how I should deal with the matter. That advice was that I could support Jason's efforts, but I should not advocate for the case, and that his local MP should do that. Mr Fartfoy says he didn't want to let down a friend, but should have been much clearer with him. I became reluctant to get involved over time because of the number of messages I was receiving from Jason. Some of the, my responses to those messages were dumb. I was trying to let down a friend easy and not cause conflict. I should have been more direct with Jason that I was not comfortable with his messages or supporting his efforts. In a statement, Jacinda Ardern said she maintained confidence in Chris Fartfoy, but she expected better from him. But the opposition says that's not good enough and Chris Fartfoy has to go. A short time ago, our deputy political editor, Craig McCulloch, spoke to the National Party leader, Simon Bridges, about the saga. Chris Farfoy's caught red-handed. All he has to do is say sorry and all moves on. And a government I led, Chris Farfoy would be gone. What's changed between now and this morning when you said to Morning Report it would be appropriate for a minister to, for example, refer someone to their local MP as he did? That's not what uh, that's not what's happened here. And what, what he's said to Jason Kerrison is that uh, he'd speed all of this up, he had a plan and he got it moving, uh, but that he was conflicted and so it had to be kept on the, the down low. Now, now what he's saying is, well, yeah, look, that, that wasn't true. Uh, that was a lie. Uh, and so, you know, I, I'm not in breach of the Cabinet manual. Well, I'm he's saying, you know, given that he's lying about this, who knows what on earth has happened? But in Jacinda Ardern's eyes, even though he's been caught, all he's got to do is say sorry and everyone moves on. That's weak leadership. That was Simon Bridges speaking to our Deputy Political Editor, Craig McCulloch.